right, so the first thing to do, open the panel. Get out some fishing line. Snip it. All right, I've got that ready. Undo the. Undo the bolt that secures the fishing line and remove the excess from the prior deployment. Excess fishing line. So that's gone now. I've also got a special custom machined washer I need to pull out from this spot. Now I've got a bolt and a washer. Okay, now I can grab my fishing line. That's a number 256 bolt, by the way. It's a mil spec, A286, I believe. Okay, oh, I've got a little excess fishing line still at the resistor side around the PCB, so I'll just get rid of that. That looks clean. And there is this protective plexiglass here, um, which is a remove before flight, but I can actually string this all up with it still on. So I go through one hole in the PCB and come back through the other. So now I've got fishing line running through the PCB. Get both ends about the same length. So now I can pull it without placing any tension on the fish on the uh, resistor. But I need contact with the resistor, so I'm gonna go underneath the resistor in one direction and with the other side of the fishing line I'm going to go under the resistor in the other direction so I've made sort of a little X beneath the resistor between the resistor and the PCB um, so it's sort of like I've, I've wrapped it around the PCB hole so tension should be getting applied when, when I pull on the uh, fishing line to close the panel, the tension should be on the PCB and almost none on the resistor. I just need to make sure that the fishing line's actually underneath the body of the resistor and not the leads. That is the case. So then I'll take the fishing line and go right through this hole that we put into the rail both ends of the fishing line and now it's through the rail and I can close the panel by pulling the fishing line. I'm just going to hold it closed with this bit of Kapton that we still have on here. So now I've got this fishing line here. I've got my bolt with an undercut bolt with a custom Delrin washer. I'm going to wrap around the bolt between the bolt head and the washer. I'm going to go 180 degrees around so that the fishing line ends up back in the same direction it's coming in and it's inside the groove in the rail of the cube set. And I'll start screwing in the bolt, applying tension to the fishing line. So the panel stays closed, get it snug, and then I'll use a torque wrench set to 3.3 inch pounds to finally tighten the bolt to the same value every time. 
Last step, I take some snips. I go inside here and snip the fishing line. And there we go. So that's one of them. Now I will try show you all of that again for the solar panel, but from a different angle now. I'll try to get So I've got fishing line. Take this and I will undo this bolt in the back. It looks clean this time, so I'll take the fishing line again. And now I'll go again through the PCB underneath the plexiglass, pull it out one side, and I'm going to go back through the PCB to come back towards me. both sides roughly even and I'm going to go beneath the resistor between the resistor and the PCB going one direction and with the other thread going the other direction again so that I've basically tied it around the PCB and not the resistor Again, I'll check that the fishing line goes around the body of the resistor, not the leads, and that's true. So then I can take the ends of the fishing line, feed them through the hole in the structure. can again close it. And again I'll use the Kapton tape to hold it closed. And now for the trickiest bit for the solar panels, 
I've got to wrap this fishing line going around the opposite direction so that any excess will be pointed inward instead of outward towards the rail where it can interfere with the dispenser. Uh, and it's just hard for me to do that because I'm right-handed. So I will switch hands for this. Which I don't think I normally do. But I'll try it this time. Alright, that worked pretty well. So now I'm just going to get this bolt going in. Got that. Holding tension on the line, a fishing line, so the solar panel will be held closed. And I'm just bringing this bolt in until it's snug but not tight. Okay. And again, torque wrench again, set to 3.3. And I just take the structure and tighten it until it's tight. And the last step, snipping excess fishing line. So that one's all done now as well. So the last thing to hog tie is the antenna. So for that, I'm going to want to increase the angle a little bit. First, I'm going to to release this bolt just a bit. I'm going to grab the excess fishing line to remove it. And a bit more here. Okay, now I've got to coil up the antenna. and tight. Shut the door. Okay, then again with the fishing line. Be 
feed it down through this hole. I'll use the tweezers to grab it on the other side. the fishing line underneath the door hole so I can grab it with the tweezers there and pull the fishing line through. Now I've got two ends of fishing line. I'll make them even again. And now this one is going over the resistor. So that's good, but this other end if it went over the resistor, it would never, it would not touch it when it got to the bolts. So instead, I needed to go under the resistor. I'll use tweezers to grab it. Okay. Again, I need to make sure that both ends of the fishing line go over the resistor. Body, not the um, leads. And again, when I wrap around the bolt, I want to get the fishing line between the head of the bolt and the washer so that it doesn't get caught in the threads. I'm going to wrap around about 270 degrees this time. And again, I will use an Allen wrench to snug up the fishing line, but not tighten all the way. And again, I will use the torque wrench to get the final tightening to the same level every time. And the final step, just as before, is to snip off excess fishing line. And that's that. Now I should be able to remove the cap time and the door won't open I should be able to remove the cap time here And that's that. We've got a hogtied mix cube set.